Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's night here in Animalia. I'm the Marmoset, and we're playing Cities Skylines. We've filled Spider Industrial, the refitted version, with its big, wide roads and its complete and utter lack of utter chaos and traffic problems, generally by having lots and lots of on and off ramps and frontage roads, appears, so far, to be working. So let's expand and extend this. First off, we need to move these fire stations. So let's grab... I don't know, let's find somewhere to stick them, shall we? It's not going to cause them too many problems, but, uh, right, we should somewhere put this one, they're going to be connected. There we go. We've got this graveyard with these, what are these? Low density residentials just stuck on the corner over here. Let's grab a nice little road. Extend that out a couple of sections. And we'll drag these fire stations. Possibly not quite that far away. So I'll pay the relocation cost because I don't want to have to. It, grab, grab, move, widen in, not quite unplumbed. Do with that later. So, right, we were looking at continuing this. So, we need to trim it back thus. And move our. Take the boulders are off. Okay, so, you are the road that comes out this way, you are the road that goes in that way. So they are three lane roads. Let's have you stay nice and high and come out to about on yeah, straight. That's one too many. And that's enough. Come out to there. And then we'll do pretty much the same with you. And then use the power of the right mouse button on the road, on the uh, upgrade road tool to flip your direction. It was a four-way road. We're done. And now we need to put a curve on the end. So if you come down to ground level. Meet up by that. Yes, it's ugly, but I don't care. Right. Now we need to start heading sideways. We want, we want the big six lane roads apparently. And you are, alright, so you're a two lane going that way. So you come out. No, I want straight. You come out all the way up to here. You are a two lane six lane road also comes out that far right okay now we need to remember to plumb this back in I believe it's two lane one way two lane one way with that Move it back into that junction so if they need to, they can get where they need to go just a little bit quicker. I think we will actually upgrade that to a three way. That is a one way going that way, isn't it? It's because of the angle it's coming in, I suspect. But what we can do is grab traffic presidents, change the lane arrows. So you should be straight on. That way, that way, and that way. If we need to add more lanes, we'll just up the number of lanes over there. Alright. There's your loop round. So now we want... Lanes that go in different directions. So we want heavy six lane one ways. Like this, and you... Originally, we're going that way. So I need to space you out by the requisite amount. Okay, so it's a two there, yes. We're going that way. Let's uh, go ahead and scrub that power line while it's in our way. Nope. Yes. No. Come across. Yes. Three. No, I got it wrong. No, I got it wrong. No, I got it wrong. Yes, I got it right. There. 
Nope. Yes. Fine. And then we will go. One last one. And I will leave those ones on the ends to allow people to turn around. Um, because previously it's shown that if you don't have these kind of little cul-de-sacs, traffic just gets monumentally confused, particularly the buses, because they like to be able to turn around. If you don't have them, they can't turn around. Alright, so that's that done. Now we need to grab that, grab this, grab that, do that. Right. We will need water. Probably refine that just a little bit. There, there. Straight down the middle. Alright, that's that liquidated. Now we need to look at putting a train station in for the next section. So we will need a cargo train terminal. Well, actually, first off, we need the road that supports it. So we want one way with trees. We'll stagger this one out just a little bit further because we learned that the other ones were just a little bit too close. That will have you definitely what came from one of those. Yep, so I'll have you right from here up, go across, and then just connect. We'll grab our railway station. And we put it pretty much just in the middle. Talk about terrain, yeah, definitely got a bit of a slope going on here. So we'll want the curve tool, connect as long as we can. Let's see on that side. You are, ah, perfect, you're going down that way, that's exactly what we want. So we can merrily take our road, come across to here, come up, cross, no, defeated. So we'll be going out the other way and then reversing our road. Why? Because I think it just works a little easier. It's uh, odd the way the game sometimes decides what you can and cannot connect. So that does work. We will upgrade you. Now you're going the wrong way. Yep, now you're good. So that just leads down into there. Yeah, fine. Go all the directions you want from that. Right, so that's you connected up. We also need to make sure that you have an amount of water. Let's talk zoning. Not zoned, not zoned, not zoned. Alright, that's what we want. We didn't put any commercial in at all in these areas. Interesting. Why am I thinking that? Well, because these people, obviously, as workers, will need to go shopping at some point. So I am going to... Rezone that as commercial. And also grab that one and make it commercial. Not Hide, yeah, let's make it. Let's go ahead and make it high density. Grab the marquee tool, the D zone, P zone, all of that. Rezone high density commercial. Just so there's just this extra bit of shopping in the midst of this. I mean, these guys are going to get reasonably good supply, and I'm pretty happy with that. Right, okay, that's that. We were ticking along here, but we haven't quite finished the roads. So, six lane one ways. Our road. Have I gone the wrong way? I have. I've got two going that way. I thought I'd not mess that up. That's kind of embarrassing. Alright, let's um, change that round as quickly as we can. Alright, that's now that's operating in that pattern. Just one moment, I'm going to sneeze. 
or not. It'll arrive when it does. Ooh. There we go. Right. Right, now those roads are going the right way. That means you are actually plugged in in the wrong place. Um, what we'll do is we'll make this... And we'll probably make it just shorter. And then if it turns out to be a hideous mistake, it turns out to be a hideous mistake. Give me a straight line. Come up. Come across. Connect. And you're all plugging in over there, so I'd rather you plugged in, come up, cross, connect, and then reverse the direction, and we will probably, what's this, pedestrian road, All right. we will probably, just double checking, railway lines, I've only got this one, okay. sorry, I just wondering if I had one way railway lines, it was something I was thinking about previously. Um, what I want is a three day one way on the tip of that. And then we'll grab the traffic president and do the correction we did beforehand. So we've got three lanes. Alright, plenty of variation on where everyone can go. Get out to the train station. The train station's got nice long thirty connections. These roads are now going the right way. So what we need to do now is grab our six lane one ways and connect them up to our feeder roads. So you are a road in, which means you come in from underneath. There's pillars about, isn't there? All right. Roads in, come in from over here. that we ran over the end of our initial planning. So let's grab that one. Flip the direction. And then we need to grab our six lane one way again. And you're out coming up that way. Right? So a straight line. Like so. Right. Now we need to put our exit frontage road back in. steps to make sure we don't get pillars in embarrassing places. And now we'll take our curve mode, come out, come down, and then come around. Are we going to connect to this roundabout? No, we are not going to connect to this roundabout. That would cause absolute mayhem. <laughs> utter, utter mayhem. Um, it's all about weaving onto this road. Now we've got this junction here, it's probably going to cause us a few problems, so what we might end up doing is just having, um, rather than just continuing the beautiful braid we've got along here, we might end up just having a, is there a direct shortcut coming across from there into that direction, another one coming from here. What we might do in that case is just have it connect up to some kind of interface here. Get it on. Yes, get it on. Get it connected up there. I don't want to connect up with that roundabout. I just don't believe that roundabout can take the load. So we will avoid from doing that. Right, so we've got a bit more space to put in a bit more industrial. We have used these sections previously, so I'm happy with that. Leave the frontage road empty or anything can get in anyone's way. Previously, when we had a space out here, we tucked a significant number of incineration plants. I don't think we need any more of them. But what I might do. The railway actually goes underneath that, doesn't it? Alright, well, I'm not going to bother then. We could potentially fill that space in with something, but I don't feel a desperate need to. Alright, now we've got to take along here. We did water. Got plenty of garbage disposal down there. We will probably... You are... One, two, three apart. One, two, three... Hospital. One, two, three... Hospital. Let's just add another crematorium opposite that one. And then probably another one down the very end. Fire. Alright, well we've got our fire stations from over here. So you're pretty much every other. So if you're on that road. Yes, I know you're a little bit sad that you've lost your fire coverage. One, two, 
one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like we will be building new ones, one on the end. And I think we need one more on the opposite face there. It's vaguely in the right place. Police. There's quite a few of them. I think we probably need to put in one there. And then one on the end there to give us the coverage we need. Don't need any education up here. Bus routes. So we've got... We have bus routes and metro is the main thing. Alright, so that connection comes in here. We've got a set of stations. So we have a bus route that currently comes around that way, or a bus route that currently comes around this way. So let's grab that and put him there. Let's see. Can we put which way is it going? Alright, so that road goes the wrong way. That's the road we want. There we go. So he carries on going that way around. So we'll also drag... Nope, nope. You've got to place carefully where these go, otherwise they end up in... Oop, a lane where they can't change direction. And they have to go down that road because of where the lanes are. Now you should be able to come all the way up to here without causing too many problems. Yep, happy with that. And now we need to put you... It looks like as long as we go opposite we won't have a lane changing problem. Yep, happy with that. So now we've got our two bus routes. We can now go the entire length of our grid. And now we need to start thinking about our metro for this location. So we're just going to carry on with our standard single stations. I don't think we're going to have any of the connections coming in over here. So we've got three stations so far and they are one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four between, one, two, three, four between, one, two, three, and four between. So you go here, which means we need to delete a section of this. Line. Have you put a little bit of a curve in to make some comp some a little bit of consideration to make it actually be a feasible route? And then we grab this and have you stop there. Right, so that's that can fit up. There's our metro all along there. Don't need these guys, so I'm happy with that. Parks. And then we'll dump extending the spider industrial once we've done the rest of it. So let's grab our plazas. We've got quite a few of them. So yeah. No, it's not put them. Let's uh not to put you quite there. Let's stick you in the middle. And we'll work on from that. Because mostly right here, because he mostly feels that that little row of one can actually become something. You can actually fit something in that gap. Whereas there leaves a small space of two that you can't put a building in. So there's no advantage to doing it. Uh, where was I? I was over here. I was looking at parks. Basketball court, yeah, let's take a basketball court in there. That's perfect because that fills the gap and leaves a nice little space for there. And then we'll grab. Don't have any space for a humongous park, can fit one on the end. Large playground, dog park, small park. Let's just put a. Yeah, do I have any parks on that edge? No, they're mostly just down the centre. So let's just have Japanese Peace Garden on that one. And there's some kind of parts of there. And I think I'm happy with the parks. That should also give us power flow down the centre. We do need to run a small amount of power back to here. But we're not building anything out there, so it's not an immediate problem. Once we get some buildings in this area, it should be okay. I can alleviate that a little bit by putting a 
Bounty Castle. Here. So that when these things connect up, that should give us the requisite power. Alright. Now the final thing we need to do, it turns out the, the district is already sort of expanded. I am going to trim that back. So I think we've kind of made the decision that um, we don't necessarily want Spider Industrial to come out all this way out towards Poop Lake. We may look at seeing what kind of thing we can fill in this area. I'll leave it zoned to Spider Industrial, but overall I am pretty happy with it. All right. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the substantive expansion to Spider Industrial. Welcome all the lights on and the rest of it. Hopefully we'll have some industries moving in in the not too distant future. But I've been the Marmoset. This has been Anime Area at Night with the City... Is it the After Dark expansion for City Skylines? Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Bye for now.